is a there is an entity there is an an animal there is a little thing in somewhere that he's hearing cries of distress on Frida's screen we are seeing the photo of this poor little creature this poor little creature has come up on Frida and Windy Wash's screen. Oh. And this poor little creature is in distress and Gordon the Gullible Globe is hearing her cries. Does anyone know what this is? Caleb? A tropical tree frog. A tropical tree frog. Mm. Okay. And any, thank you, one, that one. is correct. Anyone else has anything else to add about the tropical free tree frog? It is a red eye tree frog. Red -eyed tree frog. See the eyes. Yes. Any other things that stand out about this tree frog? Oh, oh. Lucas has found some information on the tree frog. Lucas, can Kevin? you read us that information okay. that you have identified and discovered about the tree frog? Red-eyed tree frogs eat mostly flies and other insects, mm. but sometimes they eat other frogs. Red-eyed tree frogs usually hunt at night. Their huge eyes help them see better in the dark. They have sticky fingers and toes to help them hold on to slippery tree trunks, branches, and leaves. Red-eyed tree frogs lay their eggs in plants that hang over streams. Mm. When they hatch, the tentacles plop right into the water. So huh. this red-eyed tree frog lives in the rainforests in Central and South America. And this red-eyed tree frog is very distressed because something his home, is something is going wrong in his habitat, his mm. or her habitat. And that something is that the Amazon rainforest is on fire. There are parts of the Amazon that's burning and that is threatening the red-eye tree frogs. And so what we are going to do today is that we are going to bring alive a Dr. Didi Dynamo book. And Dr. Didi Dynamo books always start with a problem. What is the problem? So just based on what we said, what is the problem? That the Amazon is burning. The mm. Amazon is burning. Part of what I do when I write is Dr. Didi Dynamo is that once the problem has been identified, I then do the research, we ask the questions, where, what, how, what are some of the science that we consider around that particular topic, and then based on the science, that informs what type of solutions that we're going to establish. And so someplace like the Amazon is extremely, extremely important to our existence. And so we're gonna take you through the process of thinking about that particular problem and all of the considerations, whether it's the science, whether it's the, the social studies, whether it's the geography, whether it's the financial and the economics of it. We're gonna take you through all of those considerations and then based on all the things we've talked about, we'll begin to unpack what some of the solutions to this problem is going to be and creating a vision around it.